Hi, I'm Rich with New Life Scientific, and today we have a Microfluidix M110L. Um, a very nice machine. Um, it's an older one, but just in fantastic shape. But it's also been upgraded with this recirculating spool valve here. And, and the normal system that originally came with it would just have um, just have the, the uh, tank here, but um, it has been upgraded over here with that. And we're going to cover that a little bit because we're we'll actually run this and show you a uh, demonstration how to um, purge the air and, and, and get the system running. But another thing that's been added to this one is this high pressure T here. And it's, it gives you the option of unscrewing the plug and then putting, putting in a, a pressure gauge here so you can monitor what kind of pressures you're running um, through the chamber down here. But um, right now there is no gauge there. They are available if you need one, but uh, at least it's ready to go for you there. But back over here to the um, recirculating valve, um, basically what you have, you have the valve down here, just a push and pull, has a little wedge here um, to keep you from accidentally pushing it. So you can pull, pull the wedge out and then you're just simply pushing it to recirculate it and then pulling it to drain. So right now we're just going to be draining it into our waste container down there and just for demonstration purposes. We're going to be uh, running some uh, isopropylene through it, um, which works great for just cleaning everything after you've done a run and prepping it for the next run. But what's nice about this upgrade too, it comes actually with a, um, a plunger. And the reason you need a plunger is because the valves built in here are not um, self-priming. You actually have to manually prime these to get um, fluids into the valve and get it get the air pushed out and it's very um, critical that you do that because in here are, are seals that if you run it dry too long you can ruin the seals. So basically what you're going to do um, when you first start out is you know you're just going to put some of your fluids in and like I said we're just using some um, isopropylene and we're going to fill this cavity here up to about three quarters and just um, allow enough room for me to get my plunger in here. And what's nice about this plunger, it has a, a cap on it that you can take off so that it allows the excess air to escape. So you can get the plunger down um, in position and just push it down there and get it started. And sometimes if you push it too far, of course, you're going to have your fluids come up and you'll see it here. But then put the cap on it. So now what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to turn on the machine by just turning this valve. It runs the air into the system and it runs a pancake valve back here that actually starts the piston pumping. And inside here you have a ceramic piston. But um, so when you turn it on, we're just going to apply pressure. And now the reason, the way we're going to know when it takes is that the pump is going to slow way down because it's going to um, have a tremendous amount of pressure going into it. And, uh, but anyways, yeah, you just um, turn it on and push it. Okay, just like that, you did hear it where it just grabbed a hold and pulled down. And now we know that the fluids are in, into the chamber, or inside to the, past the valve and into the, the, the pump. So now we're just taking this off right there and putting it aside. And now we can put on, this is a, um, a 400 milliliter uh, reservoir that does come with this system. So we're ready, we've got, we've got it primed, we've got fluids still in there, and we have just enough room to slide this on now. And the O-rings just create a nice seal in there. So now we can really fill it up with, um, our solution, which again, I'm just using isopropylene. I got it about three quarters full. So what's gonna happen now is it's gonna start running it into the mixing chamber. And what happens under high pressures is the fluids really heat up. And it comes into this cooling coil down here. And the cooling coil acts as a, a medium just to cool down your, your fluids. Um, I'm not gonna you know, be really cooling it down with any, any uh, chill or anything. We're just using the air here. But just to give you an idea, I've got a, a temperature gauge here that we're gonna actually shoot um, while it's running. We're actually gonna shoot and watch the temperature rise on this cooling coil back there. And we'll get a shot of it um, right before we start it. And then we're gonna start it. And you're gonna see the temperatures rise. And that 
that's caused by all the friction coming through um, the mixing chamber um, under super high pressures. So we're ready to start. Um, right now I've just got it to pull and drain. We're just gonna drain it down in our waste container there and um, just run it clear empty. But let's get started. I'm gonna turn this on and we can see back there it's 25.3 degrees Celsius on the cooling coil. So let's turn it on and just you can see how it's climbing already. We're up to 27, 28. The temperature just really um, climbs because of the high pressures. Nice steady stream. Looks like the temperature is about maxed out there, but it's definitely warm. It's up to 29 now. And also, if you if you were, I'm gonna actually stop it there because it's just about out, and that's why you'd have to constantly monitor in here. Um, if you wanted to con continue to recirculate it and run it multiple times to really homogenize it good, you just simply push the lever in and circulate it through and then pull it this way to dump it here. But uh, great working system. We've, we've, purged it, uh, we've purged everything, cleaned it really well. Um, the integrity of the seals are all in great shape. The, the check valve, um, the, the ball valve, I should say, is in great working condition. Um, you can easily adjust your pressures here to adjust uh, the pressures down here. But like I said, if you wanted to really fine tune it, you could put actually a, a pressure gauge down here to measure your high pressures in here um, to know a little bit more about your, your settings. But everything is in great shape. Um, I do want to also kind of point out some other things we are selling separately over here. Um, we did get some extra parts, but um, what you get with this system is everything that you see here, here, and over here, um, you get, get it with this. We do right now, we have a 112 micron um, mixing chamber in here. Um, we have some other ones over here that we're selling separately, I'm gonna show you. But if we come over here, um, we have three different mixing chambers here. Um, they're all ceramic, but the first one is 112 micron. We have a 100 micron and a 75 micron for some really fine mixing. But we are, like I said, we are selling these separate individually. Um, or if you are interested in this system and you say, well, I really don't want the 112 micron. I would like to have the 75. Um, or you say you might even want an extra one. Just, you know, give us a call and uh, we can work something out. Another thing too is we, we have an extra cooling coil um, which if you're, um, if somebody has a system or you want to have a backup one for some reason, we're also selling this separately. And then last, we have a really nice uh, gasket kit here that has pretty much a whole rebuild um, that would rebuild one of these systems. Um, I would have normally probably rebuilt it, but this, everything worked so good that I hated to um, replace something that really didn't need it. But if you did want an extra kit to go through later and rebuild it, this is pretty much the, all the components, including the ball valve here, stainless steel ball valve, and then the seats and O-rings and everything, even back into here where this, you have your seals and your plunger back here, and then um, your valve assembly here. Um, it would get it pretty much um, everything you need, to, like I said, to rebuild every, all the major components in there. But anyways, that's it. Um, like I said, you're getting the M110 here, like you see it. It has everything to get you started. Um, they do make a one liter container, which we don't have, um, but you do get the 400 milliliter one here. And then like I said, we have the 112 micron mixing chamber. 
and also the option to put your own um, high pressure valve in there. But everything's in great working shape. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Rich at New Life Scientific. If you got any questions, give me a call here.